hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this session target 300 master trader program this is the first of a regular series of videos that I'll now be recording for the sake of both my members and the general public and in these recordings I'll be recapping various trade or trading opportunities that we had on various markets I'll be giving you a whole lot of tips and ideas and it's also going to act as a newsletter for our members now what I discuss in these recordings is suitable for the futures markets Forex or stocks now very very important traders is that uh, please get your notebook and pen out because I will and actually I promise you I'll be giving you some real practical ideas that you can begin to use immediately now also very importantly is that I'm going to be sharing with you the good the bad and the ugly I'm going to be showing you a stupid a very silly mistake I made a real what what would I call it a newbies mistake that's very easy to make that I made this morning when you're distracted or when you're doing multiple things when you're trading so I'll show you what that is and I'm going to share with you the mistakes that I made besides the good stuff because I truly want you to learn now as always I do need to put up the risk disclaimer there is a risk in trading uh, if you're new to my videos please ensure that you read the risk disclaimer in its entirety now also uh, if you haven't requested uh, one of my free ebooks I've got uh, the truth about day trading also a free training manual please click the link below and obtain that and even more importantly make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel to be kept up to date with my videos and also of course uh, join the day traders fast track program so as we get underway you may be thinking target 300 or 300 dollars what does that exactly mean time and time again virtually I look at I wish I got a dollar for every time I was asked this what's a realistic profit target to be targeting as a trader and I always talk to traders about achieving $200 a day as a day trader is a realistic target now to achieve that you need to be going for an average of $300 a day why because you're gonna have down days that is a reality of trading now also does it mean you stop at 300 not necessarily if you've got a strong trend day whether it be an uptrend or a downtrend you want to keep going with those but maybe stop after your first loss and we're going to be talking a lot about various strategies like those as we carry on with these regular videos now if you haven't seen this table uh, before you let me just quickly run through uh, this now irrespective of what market you're trading stocks futures or Forex let's just assume here that you started off with a capital of five thousand dollars and you average 200 net at the end of a week that is one sorry <laughs> net per contract that is one thousand dollars at the end of a week trading one contract in 10 weeks you've doubled your money and you start trading two contracts and you increase that over a period of time now what we can see down here is that uh, let's just take a 10 week period uh, actually we'll jump up to 16 weeks okay at 16 weeks at $200 a day per contract you're earning $10,000 per week now I believe that a poor man or woman is not a man or woman without a cent but it's a man or woman without a dream you've got to have a compelling future you've got to have a target now your target may be 100 a day it may be 300 a day net per contract whatever it is you need to have a target so I really want you to start to set and to really jot down what is your daily target now also I've had a member email me recently <laughs> about this statement I said it without putting it up he said can I repeat it well it's he who sweats more in training bleeds less in war and of course the fitter you are the more Leslie the more um, uh, less likely you are to be injured and of course when it comes to trading it really comes down to mastering your setup spending the time back testing traders take your time do not go live until you've mastered your setups 
uh, in simulation just absolutely quick I know this some of this is going to be basic stuff but as I go through the series the way I look at this trade is if you can pick up just one idea from every session that I run it's all been worthwhile just that one idea may change your trading career and that's where really um, you know you you'll hear me talk about that the sign of an intelligent person is how open they are to new ideas now I'm not saying don't verify the idea by all means verify the idea through back testing but at least be open-minded you know that's what trading is really all about now in my program the day traders fast track program I now teach over 15 strategies uh, what I don't have here for our Renko traders is we've now got what we call the rule of one which works brilliantly with the Renko charts which we're going to be looking at in a moment but become a specialist if you're a new trader or if trading has not been kind to you up till now focus on one to three strategies trend following strategies until you're consistently profitable now another question I've received uh, is about the wolf wave now many of you have heard me talk about the wolf wave and actually in the book street smarts Linda Rashke talks about this the wolf waves strategy and what she states let me quote her out of a book this particular methodology is perhaps the most unique effective trading technique I've ever come across it was developed and shared by a good friend Bill Wolf for the past 10 years has made a, a living trading the S&P so this is going to be our first tip of the day now the wolf wave you can google and there's a ton of material uh, on the internet about the wolf wave but it does take uh, a period of time to get used to now for a wolf wave in a downtrending market you need to have these three touch points in an uptrending market the same thing okay so once again I'm not going to really go into it in a great deal in this particular session but it's a fantastic strategy and what it really is it's a rising or a falling wedge but what makes it unique traders is that with the wolf wave it gives you a projection of where the the market is likely to go from the various touch points and it's just a brilliant strategy and what you'll find here is that you've got a projection from here going through up to here and I'll show you a case from today uh, on gold now it's not difficult it's just a little tricky but because it's a rising or a falling wedge it's a great uh, strategy or a great pattern to be drawing in as you trade okay because a rising wedge or a falling wedge basically if I can put it this way what we've got here is the market is coiling it's like a spring we're getting ready for a breakout and so the tide of a market gets here we know that it's going to break one direction or another so when you see this sort of pattern irrespective of whether you trade the wolf wave using that methodology or not it's a great it's it's really a great pattern to learn and we'll discuss this in further sessions we'll talk more about fractal trading but when you draw your trend lines using fractals it also makes drawing these patterns certainly a lot easier so let's now go and jump on to the charts and I want to show you a few things first of all I want to show you a major mistake that I made uh, during the globe session uh, trading today so this is after the market closed so the majority uh, of my members are USA based and a, a question that I have asked regularly what are some great markets to trade when I get home before I go live or before I leave my job perhaps I should say actually well you've got lots of action on gold that we're looking at here mind it can be tricky we won't get too much into the talking about risk on gold today but generally you want to have a larger trading account you get some great moves on on oil the NQ the ES the YM now if you're trading 50 lots forget it okay um, it, it is thinly traded but if you're trading one to five contracts you're going to have no problems with your fills you might get a little slippage in a fast moving market but there's still great markets to trade 
but let me show you an error and I want you to jot this down it's a really basic error that I made that uh, cost me a great trade now first first of all for my uh, members I had a great setup I had a 2d setup now for non members a 2d is just a super reliable setup that sets up you probably get about one every couple of hours but they're just a very very high probability but I actually missed it I was actually preparing the slides for this presentation and so I on the trading dome I actually saw this setup on gold and here it was here so what I had at this stage and let me just show you this I had the gold had opened it had been opened uh, I think it was 22 minutes for Globex session so the regular session closed it closes for around an hour reopened 12 minutes or actually sorry about 22 minutes later to be exact we had a great V trade set up a t3 we also had something else that made this a brilliant trade what is it look over at our anchor chart what can we see happening here we can see a bounce off for 200 so I had great angulation I had um, a great move down I had a 200 bounce it was a beautiful trade so I went to execute the trade but I thought I was looking at CL in actual fact this is the gold chart for GC so on the trading dome I actually executed uh, the trade on CL and I went long now I straight away um, I realized I'd made a mistake and so what do you do when you make a mistake well there's a couple of things we can do of course is do nothing and hope and pray or we can exit the trade one of my trading rules is that should I ever make a mistake is to exit the trade develop the discipline so I exited I got out of a trade at break-even so it cost me basically commission of around $20 on five contracts now <laughs> yes it went up and uh, I actually could have picked up four to five ticks because it actually had hovered around this area for a while then it ticked up before it rolled over and I actually shorted this one as a rule of one and we'll talk about that uh, in a moment but here I decided to get out now why was it a silly mistake one I wasn't focused I was doing multiple things and you know once again there's an old saying traders the teacher is the one that really has to learn and it was a silly mistake preparing powerpoints and you know look it's just so easy to do so if I make this mistake I guarantee the majority of traders are going to do it probably twice as much as me so just be aware of that so double check your charts check your domes check the amount of contracts you've got on there you know check 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 absolutely critical traders because sometimes these mistakes can be very very costly in actual fact it cost me six ticks which is about uh, three about sorry about two hundred and eighty dollars thereabouts after commission so it was an expensive mistake because I got out even though I could have moved because if we go back to the gold trade we can see that was a beautiful move and I could have trailed all the way up using an ATR all the way up to the 89 and the 200 so major stuff up now before we go back and we have a look at the other CL trade what I want to point out here is this potential wolf wave now this is not a perfect wolf wave traders and the reason it's not perfect of course is we don't have a perfect rising wedge this is almost more of a channel as you can see here we went up there we had the energy what I call the energy was coiling it was building uh, I think the comment here I think think of a spring point and finally um, and by the way traders you can see the t2s we had we had some great uh, there were t1s we had t2s had some beautiful uh, trades in this uptrend now just remember with any uh, strong trend uh, if you're drawing trend lines for a channel you are you're ideally looking for at least three touch points with the wolf wave you're looking for also and you had one just back down a bit further back here one two three four you had five touch points now 
wolf waves by the way walk work on all markets and time frames whether you trade a tick a range a Renko uh, whether you're trading a, um, a time-based charts so I like to wait for the clear break okay now in actual fact you can see here that we had a break of a channel we had then an 89 B come up here and we had a beautiful t10 all right then the market fell away now the point the projection point that we that you draw and this is not a perfect one it's from there to there and you project it down and once again we'll cover the wolf wave in more detail and we can see here the market really had a big fall all right now here you could have trailed uh, using an ATR you could have trailed using our, our blue um, uh, uh, trigger line etc now here what's happening here now we can actually see here traders we had a lot of support we look back over at the anchor chart and what's happening here it's right at the 200 again so we can see the amount of support or resistance that a 200 EMA can do but then of course it fell away and we have a saying in our business follow the gold follow the gold and of course then there were some beautiful with trend trades let's now go back to the Renko here back to sorry the CL chart now up here then I then had a nice short here for what we call a rule of one and here I went for seven ticks so that was uh, 350 gross uh, on that trade now here this was the low of the globe accession now the low at the time was 6196 now what you'll find with nearly every market of course because the market reopens you'll go and test the lows or the highs time and time again but because I was recording I decided to uh, what we call front run that is I put my exit for this trade at 6197 which is seven ticks which is 350 gross on five contracts uh, on CL so I then got out and we can see where it easily punched through and this is very very common for anyone that's new in trading CL you'll see it time and time again when we go down to a low it'll quite often most of the time punch through by at least two ticks there's some profit taking taking out some stops then it rallies back up again and there were some beautiful trades thereafter then we had some more 2ds now just remember when you're trading divergence traders that it is higher risk and what you've got to watch is that when you're trading divergence is that you'll quite often miss a good with trend trade and what you've got to watch with trading uh, particularly the Renko of the range charts these moves they can move very very quickly okay now this is once again as a reminder CL that we're looking at so this is a CL chart now another very very important Point I want to bring up traders is to be remembering where is where's my pivot now as we know we've got a very high probability that we're going to target the pivot particularly if you're bouncing from the floor pivot down to the s1 or up to the r1 then up to the r2 so if you're at the floor pivot the most accurate uh, target is the r1 or the s1 the closest pivot very very high percentage trade so when you start to see the market turn and particularly when you see that you're fairly close and we've got a, a market turn we've got a nice t20 here then we know there's a very high probability that we're going to hit the pivot now another very important thing and this is particularly relating for this is for members of the day traders fast track program make sure you get in the habit of marking up every t20 why is that now a t20 coincides with a 50 cci zero line crossover and of course what we know is that when we have uh, a, a t20 very high probability that we're going to have a new trend new trend when the first trade you take after a new trend is very good chance you're going to have a higher probability or a higher profitability with that trade so mark them up develop the habit of knowing when your t20s have set now remember your t20s are even better after you have 
three four five or six waves in a trend why is that well we know after we have a number of really good waves we've got a um, uh, basically a greater probability of a good market turn now remember traders we're like surfers we're waiting for the wave we're just sitting there waiting for the wave and this is what we can see here right so the market then we have our t20 we come up we come down now remember follow the gold now trade is very very important until you are consistently profitable it is critical you follow the gold it's absolutely critical now some traders will get bored and I you you hear me talk a lot about this in the members videos well that's where if you start drawing in your channels and your trend lines etc to keep yourself busy for an example here we can see here we could have drawn the hand we had a nice little divergence here now and this is for uh, everyone just remember when you have a divergence trade the greater the angulation for further away from your major EMAs you are the better up here we had uh, we ended up having a 2d it was also a pivot bounce as you can see here we've fluffed around here for a little bit and we're slowly rolling over now just remember that it is the Globex market so it is a slower market now it is um, uh, what time is it now it's one nearly 1 30 p.m. Sydney time so we've got London opens up in around five six hours uh, so traders I think we'll uh, finish off there now the other thing I just wanted to uh, mention was that uh, we saw a very very fast moving market and something very very important here when the Globex market opened up to today uh, the ES took off like a rocket particularly for our Renko traders uh, and also on the NQ because we've got uh, the rumors of this trade war President Trump is talking about increasing or, or a tariff on steel so we saw a massive move traders don't be tempted to jump in unless you're a, a master trader you know how to trade fast markets or you're comfortable just sit back and wait now after around half an hour to 45 minutes it slowed down uh, let me just actually pull up the NQ chart here okay I've just pulled up the NQ so it's it's uh, calm right down there and well and truly after it uh, opened up once it settled down after about 30 minutes there was some brilliant trading opportunities where you could get in where it was slow enough that you actually like for an example here this is 15 minutes between here and here you had 15 minutes you had some great opportunity you had ruler ones you had 34 B's 89 B's uh, you had uh, great slingshots so for your trend traders there's some great opportunities but many traders I can promise you that tried to trade the first five to ten minutes probably hit their stop loss limits in that time period so remember in fast moving markets just sit back and be patient so traders I trust you've uh, picked up a few ideas uh, please look forward to my next uh, recording for uh, for the general public and members uh, and I'm calling these target 300 by the way target 300 recordings it's all about how do we get to a minimum of $300 a day as traders irrespective and just look I've got to show you this just on that point what about our Forex traders well here on the Forex if we look at um, uh, Forex traders if uh, we just look here at, this is looking at the Aussie dollar this is a three range uh, on the Aussie dollar and over here we've got uh, a three range on the Renko charts there's been some great opportunities there so once again all of the same setups work it really doesn't matter what market you're trading yes I know that different markets have different personalities and that's fine and that's what backtesting and, and watching and adjusting your setups probably the biggest difference and, and if you were to say to me look what are the critical factors I trade stocks uh, for the day trader fast track strategies uh, what what are you looking for as long as I've got a market that has a range where you get a trading range and it's got some volume I've got a market that'll work same with the Forex market same with the futures market no matter what you're looking at whether it be the metals whether it be the currencies it really doesn't matter as long as we've got ranges um, we can make money and that's really 
what's about traders so traders uh, that's enough we're 25 minutes into this recording I'll uh, will email you automatically the next video in this series thank you traders